and pounds. Sheldon Welcome everybody to a jam-packed Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York for the final turmoil main event. Boss, the final turmoil main event before Summerside 2024 and the murmurings, the rumors, it's already starting to hype me up, boss. We got a jam-packed car just in eight days, but we have a hit of a main event right here. The current OCW World Champion against the youngest ever OCW World Champion. Sheldon always delivers. Yes, indeed, Jake Allen. The last stop before Summerside. Hell of a shirt by, by the challenger. Non-title, by the way, but it is considered a challenger against El Campeón de la Semana, El Parker, in what looks to be a hell of a fight for these two combatants. The Sheldon got it in the tank to take on the champ. We're going to find out shortly, Jake Allen. He is your three-time world champion. The gong says it all. The aura of El Parca, the champion, El Campeón, approaching the ring right now. And this is this is kind of eras clashing here. Two of the more recent ones, boss. These two men uh, are world champions, former world champions, for a reason. And we could not have a better technical matchup on the last match before Summerside. We saw Mark Reese earlier tonight reuniting with Puro Country. He will challenge El Parca at Summerside in just eight days for that championship. The question's always been recently, can Mark Reese finish his story, put the chapter in it, and begin the era of, of a country champion, world champion? But we're not there yet, if at all. Right now, it's the main event of Sheldon Trembley looking to climb back onto the ladder get his feet back on the mountaintop, taking on the world heavyweight champion, El Parker Greg is your official, Jake in the booth, me in the booth, let's go. Ooh. Oh, Cassidy Hayes like. El Parker. Yeah, and learning some tricks from some OCW greats there, playing some mind games to Sheldon, who's used the ropes. The mind games, unaffected, huge flying cross body, one, no. El Parker able to kick out, and along with Parker's challenge for the OCW World Championship, by country fried Mark Reese. We will also see the other two world championships defended. I'm sure Sheldon will be in the front row for the women's world title between Deborah Soto and Cheyenne Lovett. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, that, uh, that mm. beautiful, beautiful dropkick, that contract signing was, uh, was very emotionally engaging, and we hope to see the, the women's champion be defended in tremendous and tremendous. I'm making up words. We go fashion at Summerside. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Here's the oh. cover. It wouldn't be a turmoil main event if Jason Clinton's sensation wasn't making Woo! up words, baby. And now we're going right to a dragon suplex as Sheldon Trimbley not coming off to a slow start here. It's as quick as it gets. Oh, <laughs> Flosion <laughs> dropping El Park on the crown of his skull. And Jason Sensation, boss, we always talk Ooh. about setting your momentum uh, before resolution to head into the summer, but the same applies here. Sheldon may not have a match in eight days as he's being stretched out right now, but if he can get a win over the current world champion here on Turmoil, he'll put himself in peak pole position for post-Summerside activities. And look at we keep going. Bit of a curly fry, Rana. Jesus Christ. And those three P's are in P3, rest in peace. But we got a little, oh, picture in picture, little John Carter. We saw some heat between uh, John Carter and Shel Sheldon a couple weeks back. John Carter victorious against Sheldon. Hell of a match, match of night. Tie, if you will, as well. There's a whole lot of eyes on this matchup. Sheldon Trembley has been told by social media that uh, he's a bit of on the backside. He's been trying to regain that momentum and show that he's still got the juice despite being a former champion. Had a little bit of static with El Parker, too, in recent shows. So no, no love lost, Jake Allen. No love lost. Oh. And we're seeing it right now as the champion regains control of this match. Sheldon doesn't know what he's in for. Sliding German suplex there. 
as Parka, the champion, regaining full control of this oh. match, at least for the time being. And I know you mentioned that picture in Picture Boss as Parka goes right back to work on the arm. It looks like Trenton the Truck had his cameras set as a geek-seeking missile. We saw John <laughs> Carter there in the front row. And Sheldon with a big counter. Nice. Nice jawbreaker action by Sheldon Trumpley. Goes immediately. Hold on Gango. here. This is the kind of wrestling we expected here, yeah. boss. Two of the best in Ow. between these ropes. Fantastical counter right now. El Parker trying to trying to regain Ooh. some of that momentum he lost earlier in this matchup, and he does it the best way he does. You heard the clapping too. He works on the digits. He keeps you grounded. He breaks on, he tweaks on your arms, your fingers, your elbows, your shoulder blades, your arm sockets, and everything in between. It's not just title matches we have coming up in eight days. The pay-per-view oh. return, in-ring return of Valkyrie, and then of course that dynamic showdown between two Hall of Famers, Dragana and Hurricane Holly Hunter. Looking forward to that. That's been brewing for quite a long time. As this technical oh, Matt Classic continues, catching him, I think he was going for blood yes. and wine there, boss. <laughs> yes, indeed, he was going for some, he wanted a little, he wanted a little bit of sangre and weed and wine on there. Once again, tried the truck, got a little John Carter. You start speaking Italian and he pops up on the screen, it's like a Beetlejuice situation. Woo, exactly, on occasion, it, it's been known to happen, Jake, and with a little bit of liquor inside. And now Parker taking his time. Oh, what do we have here? Getting creative with it, baby. Look at him, camera. Definitely creative. And Parko ah. with a missile drop kick, almost a shotgun drop kick, through the bottom rope. That certainly caught Sheldon by surprise. He may be a technical master, but sometimes other kinds of styles can surprise him. We've seen that in the past. Styles makes fights, and uh, El Parka is doing what he does best. He's not being. This is what you can tell with with, uh, with champions who've been around the block more than once. There's no no panic in his movements. He's still he. He might not be on the upswing right now, but he's taking his time. He's not making mistakes. He's sticking to the game plan. He's on the outside getting some, some much-needed breath and stamina. Sheldon, maybe slipped on the rope, perhaps, but you get the idea. I think it was I think he was grandstanding <laughs> and hot dog in there, leaping off with his hands in the air, kind of showing off to the crowd, and he follows up nicely with an exploder suplex, but this is the composure you talked about as the reinforced padding feels the body of the German wonderkin. Sheldon Trimbley before a quick jawbreaker puts him back in control. This fight continues here on the oh, outside. Nice a beautiful counter by Parker back into the ring. Sheldon go to get you see that working, working on that uh that little meat, that little calf area. You you can't you can't do what Sheldon does. You can't go into the check into the hotel Berlin if you can't walk vertically. Jake Allen didn't know if you knew that. Just laying you low. I know. Now, a lot of people back there, myself included, that would love to take a chunk out of his thigh meat. There's a big <laughs> dragon suplex, and it gets a cover. You notice he didn't bridge the first time, but he definitely went for it there, maybe sensing that uh, uh, El Parca's gas tank is depleting just a little Might bit. Might be, but that's the, that's the thing. You, you don't panic. You take you take your time like Tiberius Dupree. Oh, once again, look at that. I guess he got a John Carter fan cam once again. You basically, the, the match doesn't, this is when the match begins, Jake Allen, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice clutch. Big clutch forearm as both men right now. This is classic. Sheldon Tripley and El Perka <laughs> at their finest. We are going back and forth, and boss, we have officially grown hell for leather in this one. Jesus, fight for position. Oh, get a little fat, a little grandstanding hot dog. It might be taking too long against the, against the champion. You don't want to play with the champion. You don't play with the champion. You take your shot. You take your shot immediately. It looks like Sheldon's all about to take a hell of a shot right now. Might be close to ending this oh, bad boy. Is. What is oh. that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Fall away. Moonsault ah! from another planet. I thought we were about to witness two of OCW's finest die in the ring. Instead, Pork able to kick out. Will it be the end of the oh, world champion in our main event, Sheldon? He's about to do it. He's about to pin the champion. Oh, never oh. mind. Close. No cigar, though. It's going to take a little bit more than that. Check out. A little bit more. Ooh. Icarus fall. Dropping that elbow on the chin and the throat of El Parca. And he's kicking out almost on instinct right now. But that instinct may oh, be Fanidum. Oh. Oh, no, he's still got something. <laughs> Even John Carter looked impressed with that one, and that is the 
That is the savvy of a champion. He knew that that was probably the last kick out he had, and he got to the hey, outside. Right Smart move the by the champ. to the outside, Jake Allen. He even got my phone excited. And John Carter, I can't tell if that's he's excited or not because he has the, the, the facials. No ditty and, and exuberance of a light bulb. Anyway, back to the action, Jake Allen. Both into the ring right now. Oh, Parker's on. Oh, no. I think he slipped, wow. Jake Allen. Wow, indeed. I think he slipped. This is unfun. Oh, is, boy. Is the crowd leaky? Is it squeaky? I don't know. Uh-oh. Is there vacancies <laughs> at Hotel? No. Yes, Hotel there Berlin. Is. Yes, there is a vacancy. This is it's empty right there. No pull in the water. And again, Parker going to the outside of the ring. As, oh, my God. Oh. Mark Reese stopping oh. him from grabbing oh a weapon God. and throwing him right back oh in the ring. Mark Reese. <laughs> Mark Reese. Doing the right thing. Nobody wanted to see this match end in a shitty DQ. And now Trouble and Trouble oh, is missed. Oh, Super kick counter. Shots are about to do it. His shots are about to do it. The cover one, oh, two, and the super God. kick. Oh, How God. poetic. The move that ended the one and only world title reign of Sheldon Trimbley brings him a victory in non-title action against El Parca. And you got to think that the champion is not going to be happy with Mark Reese after that. To be fair, Jake Allen, devil's advocate, if, if Mark Reese didn't interfere on the outside, this may have turned out a, a bit different from El Parca. I think he was just resting and getting his wood, and Mark Reese had to stick his nose where it don't belong. Just as a devil's advocate, Jake Allen, just as a devil's advocate. <laughs> if he didn't try and get a weapon, this wouldn't have happened. And you can see Mark Reese and Parker sharing words right now. Oh, my God. Our officials, oh, I think I know where this is going. Here we go. <laughs> They're not going to wait for Summerside in Barcelona. We're going for it right now on the stage. Oh, El Parker's not happy. Mark Reese is not happy. These two are going to meet at Summerside in the, mat in the rematch, perhaps, of the century. Is that hyperbole? I don't know. I just learned hyperbole the five minutes ago. My name is JCS. That's Jake Allen. Summerside, August 31st, 305. Be there or be square. Sissy. All right. K-bye. Enjoy your weekend.